Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna connect a laptop to a Cisco switch and from the laptop we can program the switch. I'll show you guys how that works. We'll use a program on the laptop called Putty and this will allow us to communicate with the switch. Here's the console port. This is what you'll connect to to set up the switch. You can get into the CLI, which is the command line interface. And this is where you can assign all your settings to the switch. There's a little fan here, power connector. I'm not gonna be using this. This is the power connector I'll be using. Just, just the regular 110 volt US power that we usually have here in the States. So there it is. Let's uh, plug it in, see if we can get it to turn on. All right, got the power cable. So let's, uh, let's plug it in. All right, so we've got some activity there. I can hear the fan blowing, which is good. Right now it's just going through post. All the lights are lighting up. It's testing all the different ports to make sure everything internally is working. So I'm gonna go grab a laptop. We'll connect it to the console port of the switch. And using PuTTY, we'll be able to see the program and the software that's running on the Cisco switch. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. I've got a laptop that I'm gonna connect to the switch using this uh, console cable. So this has an RJ45 on one side, and on the other side, we've got a USB plug. So this laptop's really old, and I'm hoping it powers on. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. So let's connect the console cable. This end of the console cable is gonna go into the switch, and the other end is gonna go into this, the USB will go into the laptop. All right, so we're in Windows. I have PuTTY already installed on this laptop. You can download PuTTY online for free. You do need to configure PuTTY with the correct settings so that it'll, your laptop will communicate with the switch through the console port. I'll have to talk about that on another video, but let's just see if we can connect here. My settings are the speed is 9600 and the serial line is COM3. All right, it looks like we're connected to the switch. What I'm gonna do now is power down the switch. I'm gonna leave the console connected so that we can watch the boot process of the Cisco switch. To reboot the switch, I ran the reload command so the switch is rebooting now. So PuTTY usually uses, I'm pretty sure it's white text on a black background or maybe a blue background. Just go here and right click and you'll go to change settings. And from here you'll click on colors and then, yeah, so you can change all the color settings here but that's essentially how you do that. All right, so we're ready to go. We've got our host name in the bottom there. And I can run the enable command, which will allow me to do administrative stuff on the switch. That's as far as I want to take it for today. Essentially connecting the switch to a laptop so that we can program the switch. And yeah, we booted up the switch, went through post, and we're now looking at the CLI, which is the command line interface for the switch. I'm gonna make a bunch of CCNA focused videos. Um, I also have some routers. I have another switch. All of these are Cisco devices. And at some point we'll have them all connected together and we'll be communicating and setting up networks and do all that stuff. But I just thought this would be fun for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys soon.